Hello everyone, Avenue Marcus, aka Marcus Antonius here with patch update 1.70 for the PlayStation 4. We've been waiting for this for a while now, but it's finally here. I'm going to have my uh, tablet with me and I'm going to read off the major things, the, the main features, the main presentation for this. Share Factory. It's been added now, so now you can actually edit your stuff that you share and you can actually have this big nice thing that you can have. And you can also now use those same uh, video clips and screen caps. You can put them on the USB device, so you don't have to necessarily worry about cluttering your main hard drive with uh, all your shares and stuff. Now, Best HD. Best HD has been a new added feature so that you can actually improve the quality of your Twitch and Ustream streams. So, you can actually look good while you're streaming, which is nice, you know. Comparatively speaking, the PS4 and Xbox One weren't really doing well with streaming because of the quality. With PC, you can have that quality there. At least now, you know, people on the PS4 can actually compete with that and actually, you know, show off. It's like, hey, you know, we're on the PS4 and it's just us, you know. No PC, no nothing, you know. We're having fun. You know, stuff like that. You can now broadca uh, save your broadcasts, which it says on here that you have to... For details, refer to the website or online service, which I'm assuming it means you have to go through a couple extra steps in order to actually do that, but it's still good. Adjusting the brightness on the controller now. You can actually, you can finally adjust the brightness on this little bad boy right here. Now there's only three settings, there's the main one, there's medium, and then there's dim. There's bright, medium, and dim. Now, if you want, obviously, the best battery output for your controller so you can actually use this thing, go with dim. But other than that, it doesn't feel like it's an improvement, you know. I would think that dim would be, like, so dim you can barely see it, you know. But it would still be lit. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm, I'm just being picky. And now, the main attraction of all this, enable HDCP. This is a feature on the PlayStation 4 that's been added now. Which basically states that you can turn off the HDCP so you can actually use an outside capture device like an Elgato, like a Hapage, like a insert company here. I don't know. But either way, you can actually use them now, which is nice. Now, I warn you, before you actually do that, I might recommend actually setting up your thing right away and then turning it off. Because if you don't and you just have it still hooked up to your TV, then it will do like a fizzy, a fuzzy screen. I've been fiddling around with it. I'm, I'm seeing what I can do with it. But that's my warning to you. There's a lot of other stuff that they've added, like with the sharing features and stuff like that. I have two screenshots of what uh, the patch actually is in my Twitter. I'll have a link to it so you can actually check it out. You can read it for yourself. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe for more. And if you haven't already, uh, follow me on Twitter because I'll screen cap and stuff. And I'll, I might follow a couple of you if you're actually entertaining. But anyways, thank you all for watching and have a good day.